think the kids are too, certainly. You know, we've first thing that comes out, comes to my mind is how fortunate we've been with this weather. I mean, it's been amazing. Although today's our first official start date for team practice, you know, we've been doing our individual workouts and skill group and those kind of things, and we haven't missed a day, really. We've had, we had that one day, a little bit of rain, but we haven't missed it. We've had the opportunity to be out here virtually, you know, every single day when, when the kids have had, you know, a chance to get out. So it's been a great preseason. Uh, we're certainly looking forward to officially beginning the 2013 yeah, season. Yeah, Kevin Schnall, boy, he has made an incredible impact on our program since he arrived here this summer. Uh, and for night fans that don't know, Baseball America just came out with a survey of the top assistant coaches in the country and he was right the seventh uh, seventh best assistant coach in the country and uh, I tell you what deservingly so he is without question we hired him we knew he's one of the best coaches in the country uh, he obviously serves as our recruiting coordinator our hitting coach will coach third base and works with our you know, works with our catcher so I mean you can see what that hire was the impact I mean he was the guy he was the guy that I that, uh, wanted all along we've had a great relationship for you know 10 12 years known each other on the recruiting trail and anybody that follows college baseball knows this, obviously the success of Coastal Carolina I um, mean the guy has been to a regional virtually every single year. You know that he's been a coach or a player. He's a winner, and he's recruited and developed some of the best, you know, best players in the entire country. So for us to have an opportunity to have Kevin here is pretty awesome, uh, and he's just done an incredible job. With yeah, our definitely offense. a different team. You know, in a lot of ways, and uh, it's great. It's exciting. You know, every year as a coach, you've got different challenges, and uh, certainly when you look at our team of last year, at this time, I, f I had a lot of the questions answered. To be honest with you, and this year going into our preseason practice, there's still a lot of think questions that need to be answered. But that's okay that's what these next three weeks are for and you know what the lineup we have the game one probably won't be the same as you know the last game of the season but we've got a great combination of guys you're right I mean, so we've got a great combination of some youth and certainly some experienced guys you know off the top of my head when you look at it you know, look at some veteran guys you know first of all Chris Halliday and Ryan Breen going into this year they will have been a pair of four-year starters for us that, that's almost unheard of in, in really any major sport at any major university that for a top 25 baseball program in the country both of these guys will have been four-year starters. So it begins with those two guys. Their leadership's been incredible, and they're proven players. And then you look at Eric Hempe, you know, he's obviously got granted, uh, you know, his medical hardship is back for, not with us for his sixth year, but his sixth year in college, so to speak, you know. So to have that, that doesn't happen very often. A guy like Chris Matulis, you know, he's back for his fifth year. Uh, so you've got these guys, a lot of veterans. You look at certainly Austin Johnston, you know, who is back now from an injury, is with us our fourth year in our program. Brian Atkins, you know, will go down as one of the most successful pitchers, you know, in the history of this baseball program so we've got a lot of returning players uh, that, have, that have proven themselves so it's going to be a big second balance base, you know second base is one of the questions that I have to get answered you know right now as we go into the season so we got to figure that out you know we're, we're a little bit we don't have a lot of depth you know as far as a numbers standpoint in the middle of the infield right now uh, and Tommy Williams actually won't will be uh, is out with just a minor injury for a couple of days so we're gonna be bouncing a lot of guys around here these first couple of scrimmages but that's good but uh, from a hempy standpoint primarily being the outfield but we need to be able to put him at second base because the one thing I know about Hempy is he's you know, going to hit somewhere back in the game. When I look at it uh, right now, the two biggest things I think offensively, when you look at it, okay, second base is, um, is, a, is a question mark. Okay, I think we've got some great candidates there. Uh, Austin Johnson certainly is a four-year guy. He's had a great preseason for us so far. Uh, Spencer Haynes, I mean, we've had a lot of Hempy. So we got some different options there. But we got to figure out the back end of the game. You know, I've got some guys right now that – this week they'll continue their progression with their pitch count and then next week that first week in February I'm gonna start putting guys into roles and there's a couple of guys on our staff right now that I feel like could either be starters or could be at the back end of the game and I've got to figure that out you know pretty soon so the one thing is this opening weekend even when you have a closer, so to speak, you really kind of divide up the games because those starting pitchers aren't going to maybe six. If so, really what I'm shooting for is five innings and about 90, 95 pitches. That's what you look for opening. So you're going to divide the games up. But uh, those are the two questions right now. But certainly the back end of the game and the starting rotation uh, are the two yeah, things. I would say right rules. now when you look at you know the the Friday, Saturday, Sunday spot right now, those three spots. There's probably about six guys, you know, battling for that weekend rotation. Uh, and be honest with you, the Probably two of those guys that are that are battling for it, that's a question mark of whether they go in the rotation or I start them in the year in the back end of the pen. I can tell you this, you gotta be good in the last three innings, as everybody knows. And we are very fortunate that last year, in my opinion, and probably in the opinion of a lot of professional scouts, we had the best back end in the country. I mean, we had a fifth rounder and a seventh rounder, and one was lefty and one was righty. It was awesome. I mean, the games are virtually over from the seventh inning on, and we've gotta have that. That may not just be two people, it might be by committee. 
but we've got to figure that out. But when you certainly, you know, when you look at you know potential guys, you look at the returning players first, and Ben Lively and Brian Atkins, you know, and Chris Matulis and Eric Stoglin. I mean, those are guys that certainly have done a great job. They've proven they can do it in the past. There's some newcomers out there. The Davises, they're not brothers, but I kind of call them the Davis brothers, but they're not because they're in the same group. But Danny Davis and Spencer Davis, two junior college pitchers, have done very well for us. You know, Tyler Martin. Uh, a freshman from Jacksonville has also pitched. So, I mean, there's a lot of guys, probably that group of guys are the ones going to be throwing a lot of the, getting their pitch counts up. So I, I've got to figure it out. But this is what I will tell you. And I will tell you like I've told everybody, it's a new year, okay? And it's a new year. And in my mind, the number one thing is we need to get better than last year, taking it one day at a time. So certainly what people have done in the past is, is, is in my mind because that's just the truth. When you have experience and you've proven yourself, that's important. But we need to get better. So I'm going to evaluate it and see where we are, and I'm going to bit pitch the guys that yeah, I feel I'll tell you what, this three. is probably, you know, on paper the toughest schedule that we've played. When you look, at, I think, at the end of the year, I think we could, I could feel confident very likely will be that. You know, the one thing that a lot of fans out there may not know is that this is the first year of the RPI change in college baseball. Uh, and the RPI change is this. Virtually it's very similar, if not the same, uh, to my knowledge, as basketball. And what it is is you get rewarded more for a road win as opposed to a home win. So that puts a lot of pressure on you, you know, meaning that you need to take care of business at home and when you go on the road, you know, you need to win. Fortunately, we did, we've done very well in the past, you know, on the road. Uh, so we need to obviously continue that trend. And, but you look at our schedule, it's very good. As we, This is the key, all right, this is the key in baseball and probably maybe any sport. I'm telling you guys we've got a lot of questions that need to be answered. It's not a bad thing, but as the question, it's not all the questions won't be answered opening weekend. It might take a little while to put the pieces to the puzzle, but as a coach, as you're trying to put the pieces to the puzzle together, you can't lose games. That's the whole key, you know, that you, as you're figuring it out, you still want to put yourself in position to win because at the end of the day, that's why you prepare and you work hard and like the kids have done. So you just want to make sure that as we continue to try to figure it out, we're still getting the wins. And I feel confident that we are, but we've got a great schedule. I mean, obviously we open up with Siena that every year that those are extremely competitive games. Obviously we have the University of Florida coming here on Tuesday. Certainly it'd be a great game. We've had a great, uh, you know, great obviously series with those guys and then our tournament, which we haven't had in a while. So it's a challenging schedule. And you're right, at the end of the year, you know, we certainly go to Florida State. So it's a great schedule. I feel confident that from an RPI standpoint, that at the end of the year, if we do what we feel like we're capable of RPI-wise, we should be in good shape. Now, it's Conference USA is awesome. It really is. Conference USA baseball is great. And uh, I think this year, there's no question, it's going to be as good as it's ever been. You know, and that's just the truth. I mean, you, you can you look at Conference USA, and certainly you have the, the schools who have, have a history of being very good. Uh, but you look at it, I mean, obviously look at the schools, you know, they may know there's a couple of schools, for example, UAB won it. You know, UAB's got an outstanding program, outstanding program. There's just tremendous depth in Conference USA. You know, you're right, you look at a Rice, who's a tremendous program, they've got great history and great success, but every team in Conference USA is good. Every team. It doesn't matter what the preseason poll says, and it doesn't matter what your record is, everybody is good. So I think it's going to be another great year, and I know the preseason polls, I believe, are coming out next week, so we'll see kind of what happens with everybody, but I know this, there's a lot of Opening great night's big, you know, for me, I think it hopefully kind of sets the tone for the season out there, and, and obviously the opening night, you're right, it's free, uh, everybody is welcome, we want to get as many people in here as we absolutely positively can um, and we'll let them all in all right we've got some new things obviously we've got the bleachers from last year out in the outfield people see out there in right field right center field you know we've lowered the fence there people are gonna be able to stand out there now officially uh, so point being is, is you know we're expecting a great crowd we have as many people as possible and I you, know, you look at our schedules we talked about look at the first two weeks and and the great games that we have you know certainly we've got opening weekend with Sienna opening night free admission as we talked about in the University of Florida Texas Tech UConn Troy so it's a great it's a great uh, beginning of the year schedule so, you know, you're looking forward to, to the first practice, first team practice of the spring because right after that it's opening day. So, yeah, it's always one it's one step to look forward to and then the next step after this is opening yeah, day. Yeah, you know, it's it's crazy to think just, I mean, four years ago, those four years went by pretty quick, but uh, um, I was just like pretty much half our team. We got a young team now, just like we were our freshman year, came in with a big recruiting class and you know, those guys are looking up to me, bringing all the seniors and everything to set the tone for this season. So it's really Yeah, basically, really I mean, it's not so much telling them what to expect, it's it's showing them. Um, you got to show them how 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 coach Rooney wants like the team run, how it's organized, how uh, practice is organized, how the board works, how everything. So I mean, once they grasp that, I mean, 
they just basically look at the older guys to see how to act, how to hustle, how to run it on and off the field, how to play here at UCF. So it's more showing than telling them, like, hey, you got to do this, you got to do that. They, they, they look up to us to see what they have to do. And, you know, every once in a while you say, hey, you got to, like, do this, do that. But, you know, just basically showing them you know, what to do. You know, Snall, he's doing his job every day. He comes out here, he really pushes us, pushes everybody out there. Um, you know, hitting-wise, he knows his stuff. He knows what he's talking about, and he really he brings a different view to me personally. Um, things, some things that I haven't heard, some things that I have heard, and just the way he goes about it, you know, I really like what he does. Uh, catching wise, you know, he's great. He comes out here with a lot of energy every day, you know. And uh, uh, like I said, he he he's showing, he's implementing new things to us that uh, for my past three years I haven't I haven't known or haven't I haven't been taught to me. But you know, he's he's shown me new things, and once I got to grasp that, me and Dale. Got the and Talladega is back there every once in a while. Got to grasp that, you know. We're getting a lot better, and you know, he's, he's expectations a lot of the program do. have always been Omaha. Um, we're getting to Omaha, but when we first got here, I mean, yes, the goal is to get to Omaha, but there were other goals in front of that, getting to a regional and whatnot. Since we've been to a regional now, that is expected of the team. I mean, that's not like our goal. Really. That's what we expect to do. We have to win the regional. Yeah. Yeah, it's winning the regional, going past the regional. Our goal is to get to Omaha, win Omaha. That's what we want to do, and that's what we're set out to do. Um, you know, Bo Decker uh, is looking really good in the outfield. He, I mean, he would get some decent playing time, you know. Um, even some of the guys, not even new guys, but some of the guys coming off injury, like Eric Hempy and Austin Johnston, that are coming back from injury this year, looking for big things with them. You know, Tommy Williams, who was here last year, didn't get as much playing time. We need him to step up big. So even Spencer Hayes. So there's a lot of guys that that uh, that need to step up and, and play a huge yeah, role for us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I got it. I, got it. Yeah. I would Go say ahead. that. Uh, I mean, everybody's out there every day working hard, um, and I, I like it personally. Great work ethic out there. You got people competing for that one spot. I mean, everybody is out there one-on-one -on -one doing their thing, but also doing what they need to do to help our team. So, I mean, there's definitely a lot of competition out there, and I, I look forward to seeing what it's going to come opening day, what it's going to be. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun. It's going to be fun to watch these practices and, and see some of these young guys really competing for a job. And, you know, me and Tyler they still have to still have to compete. I mean, you know, we, I mean, we don't do our job, you know, we can be out of there, so. Appreciate it, guys.